My name is Josh Rutgers. Um, I'm the owner of Dead Game Fight School. I got started in the 90s and uh, fought as a professional for 10 years in both the, 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 the no holds bar cage fighting and professional boxing as well. I retired in 2009 and uh, since then I've really just focused more on running the gym. It was, I've been fighting all my life on the street since I was a kid, you know, and, um, and some bad ones, some real bad ones. I've been stabbed a couple times, you know, I got cuts, I got scars all over my body from different encounters that I have with people on the streets. When I first started, I was one of those guys that it was kind of <laughs> more my mindset to uh, want to call out the best guy around. And yeah, put me in there with him because if I can't hang with him, then whatever, you know. Um, Looking back all these years later, man, you know, that's a real stupid approach to have and uh, a lot of the kids here in the gym, that's why I do what I do now so that they don't make those same mistakes and go out there and get smashed. Uh, the name of our gym is Dead Game, you know, Dead Game Fight School and a lot of people know what that means. They think, oh, is that a dead animal? Does that mean you're going to kill your opponent? No, it's nothing like that at all. Gameness until death. Basically, you know, I'm not going to give up. A guy's either got hard or he doesn't, and a lot of guys might think they do, and some guys want to know if they do, and that's why they get into this. Some guys are surprised by how brave they really are when it comes down to it. When they first legalized it, we had some record-breaking attendance. You know, we had a couple events with a few thousand people at them in St. Augustine, which, you know, you got to think about the area, that's big. You know, 2,000 people in St. Augustine is pretty big. Well, because I grew up in St. Augustine, it's kind of one of those things, you know, you leave home and you go into the real world and you, you, you find something good and you kind of want to take it home to your friends and family. You know, I guess that was, that was kind of my thing with that. There's just my people there. And my, my heart in a lot of ways is in St. Augustine. Between running the gym, being a full-time single parent, and running the fight promotion. I mean, there's not a whole heck of a lot of time for much else. And it's funny because you meet other people and they go, oh man, you got the life, you got it so good. <laughs> number one, we don't make any real money doing this, you know. Uh, number two, I mean, it's countless, countless hours. And it's the same thing with coaching. It's like you get these guys in here and you work with them for years and years and years. Because it's not for me to bask in this man's glory of being a world champion. It's for me to help get him on the right path to be there, which hopefully also will relate to other areas in his life. And more than anything, that's about growing up.